Hey YouTube, once again, I'm sorry about the mic. I'm using my internal mic on my computer, therefore it picks up the fan quite a bit. Now for today on spin tires, I have Black Rock Ford and the uh, military transport truck. We're going to try the Black, uh, Black Rock Ford first, see what goes on, test speed, suspension, if it's any good at all. I mean, it seems, suspension seems fine. It's a good little truck I like because it's a Ford. Go ahead and put it a lot in high. See if we can do the jump. And that's it for that truck. We're going to try out the military truck now. I didn't intend on one to flip in the first two minutes of it, but it happened. Now with this truck, there is a add-on to see military guys all throughout and if you look, if I can get it, very closely, you can see our friend Deadpool there. Now, I don't know why I put Deadpool in, or maybe he's just a big fan. But we're going to go ahead and drive it. Now, the interior view on this thing is pretty cool. Shows with the gun shaking back and forth, but I'm not so much a first person guy. Diff lock is always on, which sucks. And it looks like we're gonna hit seven, eight gears in two wheel drive. No, wait, nine gears. Ten. Oh, we got an 11. Do we got a 12? Yeah, we got a 12. I wonder what we got next. Ooh, 13. Is there a 14? No, there is. Ooh, there is a 14. Just saw it. I didn't know they had trucks in here that went that high. Highest I seen was a 10. But overall, this truck's pretty fast in two wheel drive. Go ahead and walk it in four, go through a puddle. See how much we slow down. Oh, 15 years. And it did pretty good in puddle, but dropped down to six. And it does get a little squirrely. It'll get really squirrely in about two seconds if I can get this thing into high. Drop it in high and then here goes. It's gonna get squirrely. I promise I am not doing any of that crazy turning. I'm just trying to make a sharp turn. And it just wants to go straight in and roll. Which is good, it doesn't want to roll that bad. Still in high, gonna see if we can cross the bridge just fine. This thing in high is absolutely amazing. A little squirrely, but it works. Put a pack in auto, see what gear we're at. 14. And we just lost all the money.
There was another truck I want to try out, but I'll save that for another video. I don't remember. I don't remember the creator of the of this military truck and the Black Rock Ford. But there is a 84 350 to try out. That's a dually, but it has only two wheels in the back. One wheel. On. It's a dually, but it has four wheels total, so it's not considered a dually. But. I like this truck. I like this military transport. It's fast, reliable. Except for when it wants to squirrel out of control and just do crazy turns left, right. We'll go see if we can get that Black Rock Ford. If we can flip that thing over. I doubt we could flip it over, but if we do, then this thing is one powerful truck. So this is that is that final test. If this thing can pull that Black Rock Ford over. And once again, guys, I'm sorry for the fan. I have my laptop sitting on my desk right now, so it should be cooling down. I got both ways open so it should be cooling but if it doesn't want to it doesn't want to I got an old old laptop from like 2010 so I can't I kind of can't help it I can't upgrade to a new gaming laptop yet new better laptop I would if I could but I can't and holy crap look at that jump that was better than the Ford Way better than before. Let's see, can we just push it over? Oh. Oh, we can. We can, I believe. Push. Ah, it's so close. Maybe I can try hitting it from the roof of the cab. Contact and come on, push it up, push it up, push it up. Ooh, it's trying. It's trying. It's probably because the way I got the wheels cocked. Oh, there it goes. Well, this thing did it. That's pretty impressive to me. So now I think I got a new favorite truck. This little military transport escort truck. We're gonna try the Black Rock Ford once again. We're gonna see what gear we can get to. We're gonna try to see if we can do the flex it again. Just the suspension. And try that jump one more time. So right now we're gonna do some speed if I don't hit this pole. Alright, fifth gear. We go to sixth. Go ahead and put it high, see what happens. Mm, and high doesn't really seem to want to go that fast, which is understandable. Okay. Which is understandable because it is made for mud run, mud rock, mud bog, considering how high the truck is, how big the tires are. So we'll go see if this thing can make it through that one mud pit. And if it does, congratulations creator, whoever did this, you did a fantastic job. If I can get on the bridge. Alright, we're just gonna hit the ramp and do see how good the single flex. Flex is good. I hope so because the suspension's loose, it's tall.
the only bad thing about this truck is you can't really put new tires on it, design it, put stacks or anything, which is good. You don't really need stacks when it has coal rolling out those four tips. Yeah, it's got four tips of rolling coal. And I used to have, well, my friend used to have one of these trucks. And the, honestly, the 350s, like these, are pretty, pretty good. I just wish I could have had one. But we're going to go ahead and try test the ramp if I can get it straight. I'm going to try the ramp one last time. Let's see what happens. Go ahead and put it high. Ooh, it's getting real bad. Eh, it doesn't want to jump it that much like that army truck. It just wants to jump and roll. Which is a downfall. I know I had a friend play with this truck. He didn't have it roll. He had it perfect, but then again, he's got better connection than me, so he would be able to get it to land straight on its feet or get it to jump farther. With my connection, I'm just running an Ethernet cable, sometimes wireless. I don't know which is better, Ethernet or wireless. What if you guys could please tell me which is better? An Ethernet cable running from your computer to your router or just doing straight up wireless? Oh, this thing's pretty good. The suspension. We're gonna go up to the rocks area and see how good this thing will climb. If it can't climb, it'll surely flex on the rocks. Let's just hope I don't roll it for a third time, I'm pretty sure. No, fourth time. No, third. I don't know. You guys can count and let me know in the comments. Oh. There's the mud bog place. We'll come back to that. If I want to. Boy, when this thing wants to turn it, wants to yank itself to its side. Just like that, it wants to yank to the left or right side just to pull you and roll the truck. I had a ranger that did that. I would do donuts in school parking lot and I would just turn, 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 and it would just want to roll so bad that I kind of stopped doing donuts. But I guess when you have your truck tilt that much, it's worth the fun. I mean, yeah, getting next and almost killing yourself, getting bumps, bruises, broken bones. That's not fun. But in the thrill of doing the donut, doing the right turns, yeah, that's pretty fun until something bad happens. doesn't seem to like hills that much. I don't know if that's just my controller breaking or it's the truck that doesn't like hills. Probably my controller because it wants to let off the gas every couple of feet.
Oh yeah. That suspension. That is pretty good suspension. I would consider this a show truck. I mean, just because it doesn't have the nice tires on it, I would still consider it a show truck, not a mud truck to me. Oh, don't roll, don't roll. You just give it that little bit of tipsy and it wants to roll. Now I'm only able to do this because I have spin tires. Um, spin tires plus with the dev tools that you see on the side. I do not know how to install that. I had to go through a video and look it up by a friend of mine. I will see if I can find the link and put it in the description for you to download Spin Tires Plus. Because I can use the electric winch, I can spawn a vehicle if I want, I can refill it, I can turn this thing to night, I can reload the reload the truck but it looks like we're done right here there's no way I'm flipping this truck right now and the video is going on for about 16 minutes so I'm gonna go ahead stop it right here I will try to find a link and put Try to find the link put in the description for the dev dev tools, de developer tools. If you guys heard that sound, don't mind it. It was my Steam, someone invited me to play spin tires. Once again, I am sorry for the mic. Cause I have a little headset, but I need a wire connector and then we'll just be fine. You don't gotta listen to the fan. So because I'm using my internal fan on my Dell laptop. And my fan likes to just spin, 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 spin. And overheat, so my mic wants to pick up that fan. Once again, I'm sorry guys for it. I'm sorry if you guys seen a little bit of lag here and there. It shouldn't have been too bad. It should have been too choppy in the center or anything. It should be fine. I'm not sure. I don't know my ping because it doesn't show it. But thanks again for watching. I'll see you about doing a Minecraft video. Maybe Romeo's Aftermath Survival. Get you guys to try that out off Steam. It's a free to play. Yeah. I'll try to do a Minecraft video, maybe a Spin Tires live stream later with one of my friends, Rambo145, go check him out, I'll have a link to his, uh, to his channel over there, he does Spin Tires videos, Farming Simulator, yep, and he just put up two funny hillbilly videos, go check him out, subscribe, tell him Pink Ninja sent ya. And he'll know who that is. Thanks. Have a good night. Hope all is well. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment what you think. I. You comment, I will take hate comments. Nice comments in full effect. I will try to be better from then on with those. Bye, guys.